The next step is to re-smile. If you have listened to the Dhamma Talks at the website of www.dhammasukha.org, you might remember hearing about how smiling is an important aspect of this meditation. Learning to smile by raising the corners of your mouth helps mind to become alert, observant, and agile. Getting serious, tensing up, or frowning causes mind to become heavy, and mindfulness becomes dull and slow. Insights become more difficult to see, thus slowing down your clear understanding of the Dhamma. If the meditator forgets to release and relax, rather than punishing or criticizing yourself, you should be kind to yourself, re-smile, and start again. Keeping up your sense of humor through all of this is very important and having a sense of fun with exploration. You continue your meditation. That is most important. After re-smiling, mindfulness recalls the next step to do, and that is to return. Return now. You gently redirect mind's attention back to the object of meditation. That is the breath and relaxing, or metta and relaxing, or doing your task until it is complete. You continue on with a gentle collected mind to use that object as your home base. In daily life, having been pulled off task, this is where you return your attention to relaxing and re-smiling into the task that you are doing. Now, sometimes people say this practice cycle is simpler than expected. In history, simple things can become a mystery through all small changes and omissions when we move into the history's timeline into a period of complexity like we live in today. Reclaiming this practice develops more effective focus for daily tasks with less tension and tightness. Mind becomes more naturally balanced and happy. The meditator becomes more efficient at whatever they are doing in life. Actually, they have more fun doing all the things that used to be a drudgery. Mindfulness next helps us to remember the last important part of the practice. And that is to repeat again and again the cycle when needed.